Himalayan salt has the wrong name. It should be called Pakistani salt because it comes from Gebra in Punjab, which is in Pakistan. And this is one of the largest salt mines in the world, mined for hundreds of years and formed long before the Himalayans existed. And it is one of the most purest natural salts we have. But before I tell you why that matters, let's break down what Pakistani salt actually is. A study in 2017 examined its mineral content and found that although it contains trace minerals like magnesium, calcium, and potassium, the amounts are just too small to provide a huge clinical benefit on its own. But its strength is not in its minerals. Its strength is in the fact that it is a clean, naturally sourced salt with minimal processing. You cannot compare this salt with the regular table salt. Table salt should not be in the house anymore. It's heavily refined, it's stripped of structure, and it's treated with additives to stop clumping. So now you are getting a highly processed product rather than a natural one. So here is a key detail most people are missing. When you use a natural salt like Pakistani salt, Himalayan salt, you often use it more consciously in smaller amounts and you flavor your food without relying on highly processed ingredients. And that behavior improves your overall sodium control and that absolutely affects your blood pressure and your long-term heart health. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Please look after yourself and your family and inshallah, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.